I have water on you. <laughs> hey guys, Shane here. I was asked, um, well actually I wasn't asked. I said I would do, I'm in here in my yard and uh, excuse my, my neighbor over there. That's right, the dirty look just made him stop mowing. So anyway, I'm in my yard here and I'm gonna go up there on the top side of my property and um, I'm gonna light the, um, the BioLite stove. Now the question was, uh, would the BioLite stove work with the um, uh, mini dragon pot from Silverfire stoves? So we're going to find out. I don't know. Oh, poor guy. I might have to change his uh, his electric fence, or his electric fence, his invisible fence, his electric fence, his invisible fence settings. He's got a lot of roam of the yard, but he can't come up here. So. We're up here by my grapevines, and uh, we're gonna see if this uh, mini dragon pot from Silverfire Stoves will work with the BioLite stove. Now, I don't have the um, the campfire; I have the um, cook the BioLite uh, cook stove, not the camp stove. That's what it's called, campfire. That's a totally different stove altogether. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> I'm going to use. Some stuff that I got when I got my stove, uh, which is this right there. Some biofuel pellets. I guess they're also uh, cat litter. Not really here in the States, but elsewhere. I mean, there's some people that use them for cat litter. We use them for rabbit litter. But anyway, I'm going to use some wood pellets. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> um, mainly just because I know that that'll keep a nice steady long burn and um, I picked up the majority of all the wood in the property already and I'm not going to go down over to my scrap area. And he doesn't want to go anywhere either, do you buddy? He's comfortable. So we're staying. We're going to burn this. We're going to check out the BioLite stove with the mini dragon pot. It's a two liter pot. Um, according to the website, this pot will work with other stoves, so let's see if it'll work with the BioLite. According to the bag, do not fill past this level. Severial. That was a piece of fat wood that I had found that I put in the top there. It's a fairly large piece and I just surrounded it with some other stuff that came out of my Dragonfire tinder box. Just to kind of help her going. And it's definitely burning as you can see. Look at that cyclone effect though. That's sweet. Anyway, you guys aren't here to watch the stove do a fire tornado. Alright, the pot will not fit and set straight. I mean, smoke is coming out through the vents on the top of the pot, but it will not sit straight on there. It just actually sits on top of here. But I have this which is a steamer pan that folds up. You guys saw them. I used the, I'll put the link to uh, the video that I originally used this in in the description below. But, that'll fit. And it's working. Smoke is coming out of the top. 
So I'm going to put the brats in here. I got this full of water. I'm going to put the brats in there and get them going. I have eight full-size brats in there. And that's a good thing about the way that the top of this lid is curved up. And it does have some strain holes, some steam holes. Fire's still going strong, as you can tell. And the smoke, there is no smoke coming out from around the stove or through the vents, as you can see. But there's plenty of heat coming through the vents. So that's telling me that there are, it's almost like a chimney. It's telling me that there's definitely, definitely heat traveling in between this wall. How well does it work though? Still testing. Well, from the time it took me to walk from here down over there to the driveway to grab my spork, um, the water's already almost boiling. Kids are riding their bikes to the yard. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's extremely fast. That's great. I'm gonna actually turn the stove down to slow down the boil maybe a little bit. Look at that thing. Holy crap. Holy crap. I can't even put it on there. I gotta turn I gotta turn the fan off for a little bit. That is all the fire inside. That is absolutely cool. I actually had to turn the stove off. <laughs> Man. All right, four of them are done. They got a little scorched just because the, paint, the um, steamer basket was so hot when I first put them on there, but they cooked through really good. So now I'm just going to watch these go the rest of the way. So the answer to this is still yet to come, but I think we all know what it's going to be. So last, last week you guys saw me out with my dog Coda. This is my dog Velcro. He's a little bit older. He's kind of set in his ways. He doesn't really like to go out. Um, be away from home. I think he's a homebody because he feels like he has to protect everybody at home, but he's also my baby. He was my first baby baby. <laughs> but his name is Velcro because no matter where we go, he's always right there. He's a good pup. Well, the water is done. Still steaming. The stove is still going. And all the brats are done. So, will the Silver Fire stove mini dragon pot work on the uh, BioLite? I would say yes as long as you have some type of pot support. I, I don't really recommend using the uh, basket. I do like the basket a lot, but the basket, if it gets too hot, will start, which it did on me before, will start to actually kind of melt the backside of the plastic because it's going over the heat shroud that's built in right here to cool it down. Because see, I'm touching right here, my finger, and I'm not being burned because of the way that the stove is made. So. The basket actually brings the heat over farther than it probably should go. So I'm going to find another, I guess, mod to uh, use. But as long as you have a pot stand or something just to lift it up just a little bit, you can definitely use this. 
and the kids are ringing the dinner bell. So it must be time for me to go. So I think it was a success. Um, I was just on Facebook in my uh, stove group, Stoveaholics. Somebody asked a question, figured, hey, I've got the stuff, let's find out the answer. So, yes, the Mini Dragon Pot will work on the BioLite stove. Um, now you've got me curious. I'm going to do another test with this pot on another stove at another time. So, once again, everyone, thank you for coming along with me in my yard to do this really quick checkout and uh, test. So, we'll see you guys on the next one.